Hi, hello there, everybody, and welcome back to GSL English. My name is Gideon, and in today's class, we are going to be practicing our speaking and conversational skills by having a little chat together. So, as always, if you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for your support and welcome back to our class today. But if you are new to my videos and this series of lessons, firstly, welcome, hello, I hope you're doing well. And let me just explain exactly how this class is going to work. The purpose of this exercise is for you to have an opportunity to speak out loud to have a nice and relaxed conversation with me. Because often we don't get chances to speak in English, do we? So that's going to change today. We are going to speak out loud together. And that is the key, to speak out loud. So before we go any further, I want you to find somewhere comfortable. Sit back, relax, but also Find somewhere that you don't mind speaking out loud. Somewhere that you don't feel silly talking to a random British guy on YouTube. Because if we want to benefit from this exercise, we've really got to go for it. So that's the first step. Find somewhere you feel completely comfortable and you can talk as loud as you like. I'm going to separate the class into three parts. So there is a dialogue that we are going to repeat three times. The first time, you will just listen to me speak with myself. So just listen carefully to the conversation so that you can get it in your head. Secondly, we are going to chat together. So I will read my part of the dialogue. And when the video pauses, then you will read. And thirdly, we will then swap parts and do the same exercise again. So just as a reminder, if you need to, you can slow this video down. So just slow the speed down just so you can get used to it and then gradually work your way up to full speed. But remember, the idea is just to relax and practice together. So don't worry about it. If you make a mistake, it's no problem. We just keep going and we practice together. That's the most important thing. Okay, let's get straight into it with part one. Listen carefully as I read the dialogue and talk to myself. Have you got any plans this weekend? No, not really. You? I don't yet. But last weekend I did absolutely nothing, which was really nice. But I fancy doing something this weekend. Oh, I love a weekend of doing nothing. I don't get them that often these days. Same here. We actually made plans to have no plans. What do you mean? Well, seeing as we seem to be busy every single weekend, we actually put it in the calendar that we were going to have no plans at the weekend. That's a great idea. Every weekend we seem to have something on, which is nice, but it isn't half tiring. That's exactly the reason we planned to literally do nothing. We had a lie-in, ate a late breakfast, watched a load of films. It was lovely. That sounds perfect. Honestly, I can't remember the last time I had a weekend like that. So I don't suppose you want to do something this weekend, do you? Yeah, go on then. What are you thinking? I haven't got a clue. All I know is I want to do something. Have you got any suggestions? A few weeks back, we went to a great Japanese restaurant. The food was sublime and it had a really nice atmosphere. Oh, okay. Where is it? I can't remember the exact location, but it wasn't far away. Maybe just a 10 minute drive. What time are you thinking? I'm easy. What time works for you? Why don't we say 7.30? I can try and make a reservation if you like. Perfect. Do you want to lift? I won't say no to that. Cheers. Great. I'll see you on Saturday. I'll pick you up around seven. Thanks. I'll see you then. Very well done. Okay, so that is the dialogue that we are going to speak together. If you need to listen to it again, 
do so. You know, get it in your head, kind of preempt what we are going to talk about. But if you are ready, we're now going to start with our exercise together. So I will speak first, then when the video pauses, it is your time to read the script and speak out loud. Have you got any plans this weekend? I don't yet, but last weekend I did absolutely nothing, which was really nice, but I fancy doing something this weekend. Same here. We actually made plans to have no plans. Well, seeing as we seem to be busy every single weekend, we actually put it in the calendar that we were going to have no plans at the weekend. That's exactly the reason we planned to literally do nothing. We had a lie-in, ate a late breakfast, watched a load of films. It was lovely. So I don't suppose you want to do something this weekend, do you? I haven't got a clue. All I know is I want to do something. Have you got any suggestions? Oh, okay. Where is it? What time are you thinking? Why don't we say 7.30? I can try and make a reservation if you like. I won't say no to that. Cheers. Thanks. I'll see you then. OK, very well done. Now, that might have seemed strange doing that, but the more we do it, the easier it gets and you don't worry about looking weird. OK, so now we are going to swap parts and repeat the exercise. No, not really. You? Oh, I love a weekend of doing nothing. I don't get them that often these days. What do you mean? That's a great idea. Every weekend we seem to have something on, which is nice, but it isn't half tiring. That sounds perfect. Honestly, I can't remember the last time I had a weekend like that. Yeah, go on then. What are you thinking? A few weeks back, we went to a great Japanese restaurant. The food was sublime and it had a really nice atmosphere. I can't remember the exact location, but it wasn't far away. Maybe just a 10 minute drive? I'm easy. What time works for you? Perfect. Do you want a lift? Great. I'll see you on Saturday. I'll pick you up around 7. Well, there you go. What a fantastic job. You did really well. As I said, go through this exercise a few times. As you start to kind of realize what we are going to talk about, it does get easier. But one thing I want you to keep in mind 
is that, of course, we are trying to practice and improve our pronunciation always. But as you repeat this exercise, I want you to focus on speaking with emotion. Because when we have a conversation, it's not robotic, is it? We, our voice goes up and down. Our pace gets slower and faster. I want you to try that. So try and repeat those lines with emotion. Put your own take on them. Change the line if you want to. You can do whatever you want. But I want you to focus on speaking naturally. That is how we really improve our conversational skills. It's just getting used to expressing ourselves, talking freely and talking naturally. So I want you to give that a go. So as many times as you like, repeat this exercise over the next couple of weeks. If you need to, slow the video down. There is nothing wrong with that. And gradually work your way up to repeat the exercise at full speed. So I hope you enjoyed that video lesson today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. If you can give this video a thumbs up, it really helps me out. Subscribe to my channel. I've got loads more English videos ready to come out and hopefully help you reach your goals. But that's the end of this lesson today. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all very soon. Have a good one, guys.